I stand before the great eye of the galaxy. Chosen by destiny, this inevitable moment will transpire before your eyes, even as He-Man himself bears witness to it. Yes! Let this be our final battle! Welcome to the Four Eternia Figure Fight. I'm your host, AJ, and on our left, we have the 2020 Super 7 Dark Despot Skeletor. And on our right, we have the 2022 Masterverse movie-inspired Skeletor. While neither figure is officially licensed Skeletors from the 1987 live-action film, the left being based on William Stout concept art, and the right being based on inspiration from the film, they both are unofficially trying to look like they are. So with articulation having no bearing here, it's time to let them go at it, as we find out who is the most screen accurate Frank Langella Skeletor figure. Let's go. Fight. Round one, paint. I've seen some people out there that have Googled this image of Skeletor's costume that was auctioned off back in 2012. And they took this red velvet color as the true color that actor Frank Langella was wearing on set and lighting somehow turned his robe from looking red into looking black. Here is my response. As I understand it, during the questions and answer period of this auction item, the robe's color was confirmed as discolored, faded. I personally would guess it was improperly machine washed, perhaps with a bleach additive. But on set, Skeletor's hood and robe appeared black with just a hint of purplish red. I believe the story goes that costume designer Julie Weiss took a crushed red velvet robe and dyed it black and this almost purple color would permeate within. And that's why you see Frank Ligella on set in a mostly black robe. But the robe on this Dark Despot figure is closer to the accurate color. Now, while both figures get a lot of paint right, they also got some things wrong, and some things equally wrong. The biggest being Skeletor's body. Actor Frank Ligella wore a metallic spandex bodysuit under his armor. And these figures needed a paint job to match. But the Dark Despot Skeletor still deals the first blow here and wins this category thanks to the paint of the Masterverse Skeletor's armor set in this pinkish red color. To be screen accurate, the torso armor should not be pink. It was metallic. Now it had some reddish elements and often reflected the lighting in Castle Grayskull which was an overabundance of red lighting in the movie. But those armor and shoulder pads were mostly metallic, not pink. And that is just too much for the Masterverse figure to overcome to win this round. Round 2. Proportions. Some are surprised to learn that actor Frank Ligella was actually age 49 in the time of this role. Now, while he was in very good shape, he didn't have the biceps that both of these Skeletors boasts. I mean, look at those guns. They actually look just like the vintage figure we know and love. But the 1987 movie Skeletor was a different type of Skeletor. He was more lean and mean. So while neither figures get the proportion right, the Master for Skeletor delivers a counterpunch here with its thinner, less bulky, more screen accurate body. Round three, face sculpt. Let's talk that beautiful face of Skeletor. You know, it's ironic that one of the biggest complaints in 1987, the Skeletor facial makeup application on actor Frank Ligel's face is the one thing adult fans now want the sculptors to really get right. Now, while neither face sculpts are perfect here, the Masterverse Skeletor really delivers Dark Despot Skeletor a body blow with a more film-accurate face. 
Round four, body sculpt. Both the Dark Despot figure and the Masterous figure are very well sculpted. From Skeletor's adorned straps, to his computerized gauntlet, to his armor and buckle. While not 100% accurate, both figures have a nice accurate sculpting here. Now I think the hood hangs better over the head and shoulder with the Dark Despot figure. Masterverse really comes in swinging with the silver screen accurate skull fingertips. And also the medallion on its back, which is glaringly absent on the Super 7 figure and is the nail in the coffin for this category and this round. Final round, accessories. In regards to the paint and sculpts of accessories, Super 7 Dark Despot comes in strong. While both swords are generally solid, the Cosmic Key and the Havoc Staff is where Dark Despot Skeletor steps forward. While needing a bit more gold, the Super 7 Cosmic Key has more of a detailed sculpt and painting where the Masterverse Comic Key is shown less effort across the board. I'm not certain why the top is also purple like this. Perhaps it's supposed to represent its on state where rainbow lights come from the top. I don't know. But now when it comes to the Havoc Staff, while neither have the gem painted in the back and they both have screen accurate issues, this nasal cavity of the Ram Skull appears to be flattened on the Masterverse Havoc Staff. I mean, just look at that. It's pushed in almost which really results in a awkward looking iconic staff. So on the ropes, the Dark Despot figure counters back. So while neither figure won by knockout, the Masterverse movie inspired Skeletor by split decision wins the match. But you know who truly is victorious here? The fans are. The 1987 Masters of the Universe fans who now have two very cool movie Skeletor collectible figures to choose from. And either one you pick, you honestly can't lose. And how glorious is that? So that's it. Thanks for watching all, and we'll see you next time.